it's Jamie here again with JVI Secret Gardens and today we're talking about a super hot topic, bees. More importantly, how to get them into your garden. We all know they're important. We've been hearing them on the news. We need to save them. I've had so many questions. How do I get bees in my yard? How do I help the bees? Well, I'm here to give you a few plants and a couple tips on how to get bees into your yard and help save the bee population. First of all, we're gonna start with a very cheery flower, Rubeckia. Now the common name is Black Eyed Susan. Again, if you're here in Middle Tennessee, Zone 7, you're gonna see a lot of these, especially late July as the weather starts to heat up. The great thing about these is one, they resemble a bee already. So it's already like kind of having bees in your yard, but more importantly, they do actually help attract bees into your yard, give you a gorgeous flower. These guys will mass out over time and really give you some growth and uh, give you these blooms up until fall and the bees will follow suit. It'll be great. Another great plant to attract bees is Russian sage. Now most sages will attract bees, but I really like the Russian sage because again, it's got some really delicate foliage. It gets super tall. It can get up to like four to five feet tall. It also spreads and it gives you these little delicate purple flowers. So you can actually plant this with Rubeckia, have a nice color contrast, some nice texture contrast and do a double duty for your bee garden. And I also don't wanna leave one of my favorite shrubs out of this video about bees, Abelia. This is a kaleidoscope Abelia and I really like this shrub for a few reasons. I think it packs the perfect double punch between a shrub and a flower. It's gonna give you the size and shape of a traditional shrub, but its foliage is gonna change throughout the year and you're also gonna get small blooms to top it all off. So they call it kaleidoscope because in the, in the spring when it starts to come out, it'll be kind of a light, almost lime green and it's going to start to fade to like this dark, darker kind of dusty pink throughout the summer. Finally, it's going to give you these white blooms in the fall. You can see this one's just starting to bloom. So late summer, early fall, especially here in Tennessee. And then in the fall slash winter, right before it loses its leaves, it's going to be kind of those typical fall colors, like the reddish orange. Now it will lose its leaves, but regardless, while it does have all its leaves and has all its blooms, the bees absolutely love it. Of course they would. Bees in the name, Abelia. Who doesn't love that? There you'll have it. Those are just my top picks for getting bees into your yard. One tip to remember is that bees need to drink too. So leaving out little pots of water for them, and if it's a deep pot, maybe putting something for them to rest in so they can get a drink will also help. Another thing to help is planting flowers that will bloom all year long. Now what I've suggested are more spring and summer, but you can also do pansies in the fall, something like Mahonia in the winter, and really keep those blooms going to help your pollinators all year long. And if you've got a question about a plant or just looking for some more pollinator ideas, feel free, come into the garden center. Drop a question below. Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We will do our best to get your questions answered. Until next time, I'm going to go, uh, I think, eat some honey. I'll talk to you guys later. This is Jamie with JBI Secret Gardens.